Greetings, Soulswind here, and welcome to Let's Play Gemcraft Frostborn Wrath. In this episode, L4, 59 waves, 130 HP on the first wave, yellow, orange, purple, green. We have orange, we have purple, we're good. Skills, 23 on mana stream, 30 on resonance, 5 on freeze, 5 on amplifiers, 5 on bolt, and 15 on beam. This is a good map. All the amazing all prepared for us. But doesn't mean it will be very easy though. We still have to wall all of these and we're given towers already. So we can amp at these towers. At two amps, at two amps, right? Not exactly. We can do this and add four amps instead. Here, see? Like that. One, two. Or rather, three. <laughs> yeah, because I can't put it here since like this is gonna go out. So three, not four amps, but yeah, like that. So one here and then one here, one here. Three instead of two. It's still better than two. However, we're going to start with orange. Like that. And then, mm, let's see. Okay, it's gonna go this way. It's gonna go anti-clockwise. So we can have one more here first. And then a little bit here, and have these things chip away at the monsters. They can hit, they will hit. Actually, I think corners might be better. See? They're able to hit, and then we'll save the beam. Yep, see that? Until the beam is ready, then we'll just like assign it to one of the higher level ones by combining and then beam and then upgrading one more. Put it here. So we get lots and lots of mana. This one can deal with the shields also, so that'll be really good. At least handle the shields, right? And then I think uh, we can combine this and this and already level 6 at wave 15. Yeah, that's how good it is. Actually, I should use this for the bolt, right? Okay, beam. Meanwhile, these can improve for even more mana. Yeah, just like that. And then we're already at level 7. Look at this. So, you know what? We're gonna go to a level 8 first. Okay, we should be able to get to a level 8. Uh, we'll move it here. And then try to get a level 8. See? 3000! Go! Level 5! So once it's level 8, we need to start getting another level 8 for a level 9, right? It's almost time we need a better gem than just a pure orange gem, you know? Uh, let's see. It's still at level 4. Okay, I think it's about time to get some mana pool levels. Yeah. Because, like, otherwise uh, we're not doing so well. <laughs> so get some mana pool levels first. Okay, let's see. Bold. Already level 6 just like that. Look at how good a pure orange gem is. Seriously. Just look at that. And then bold. Level 7. And then we'll soon go to level 8, right? Level 8 will be the target level. Okay, now that's like level 8. Good enough. We cannot afford to wait. 
level 8. Now, whatever we save from here will be used for a different level 8. Okay? It'll be used for purple. There. We need a purple level 8 also, and that will take some time. Okay, let's go. You will deal with all the shielded, okay? Beam. I need... Oh my goodness, I need 9,000 and then another, I don't know how much. Oh, this is gonna be really tough. Bolt, freeze. Uh, okay, we're fine. Beam. And then uh, we'll bring it back here to bolt. Okay, this is almost going to be level 7. Okay, one more. We're gonna be really close to something that's terrible. That will appear at wave 49, so we gotta watch out for it. Something terrible, something very, very bad appears at wave 49. Beam. Oh no, 46 now. And we gotta start saving up for these beams and bolts at wave 49, you know? Let's see, can I... Can I beam? Yep, I can beam. And then bolt these. Oh no, wrong freeze again. Yeah, we gotta save the freeze. This one, this one. Something appears. You can see that something flashes on screen, right? You can see there was a flash on screen. Yep. There, this one. The Wizard Hunter. It launches shades of itself to attack buildings and gems. We need to be very careful not to let it attack the towers that the gems are in. So it's like targeting something now. And we gotta be real careful. We can see which one it's targeting though. So we need to watch out for it. See? See? This one. You can see the little bit of a uh, glitch there. Like, image glitch there. It attacks that and then that goes down. Just like that. Are we ready yet? No, not yet. But never mind. This one should be able to handle the two. The lesser towers there are, the more dangerous the situation for our gems. So we need to take out the hunter soon. Okay, it's now time to upgrade this, and it's now time to combine this for level 9, and then bolt, freeze, target this down. We can't beam it down, but it's okay. There's no fast runners. It destroyed one tower, but I think we're okay. We might even get the chance to get all the stashes. There, it's down. Killed while it's attacking one of our buildings. Yeah. See, that's down. And then, can we destroy this one too? Can we beam this down too? I think we can. See? We will be able to take out all the stashes in, like, within a wave or two. There, it's down. Move it here, and it's got the range to take out the iron stash. There, all done. So, what are the stashes? Iron, 3. Brass, 6. Bronze, 9. All down, like that. All that's left is defending against these waves. So now we can add amps because we can afford the amps. But then again, oh no, that's a wrong thing. Yeah, I shouldn't add it here because like the range is kind of wasted. I should add it here, like a tower here instead. So you know what? Let's make some mistakes, okay? Let's destroy one amp. And the next amp costs 640 instead of 400. You know what, since like we can't level this up anymore, it's like 76,000, might as well get a very good high-leveled orange gem and see how much we can get from 
these remaining giants, okay? It's a level 6. Ooh, look at that. So we're gonna get, like, beams on this while the bolt goes to here. Bolt. Beam. No, hang on. Upgrade. And then go for more beams. Okay, okay, if you take a look at this, we're almost at level 10 of the mana pool. So, uh, can we go to- No, I don't think so, I don't think we can go- Wait, hang on, can we- can we go to level 10? Maybe. Maybe, yet yeah, maybe not. You know what, it doesn't matter. Uh, we don't have to go to level 10, because we can create another level 8, combined for level 9, and the gem goes to a level 10 gem. See? There, that's how powerful this gem can be. And it's zero leaks. Zero leaks. Stats, look at the mana leeching gem. 90,000 mana. And we got another bonus 933 from Waves Called Early. Well, I guess it couldn't have been too difficult given that these wizard hunters appear. But we didn't really have to worry, did we? Anyways, look at the mana spending, no leaks, <laughs> 60 on gem bombs, and then a bit more on the amplifiers, that's because I sort of messed up there. It was a breeze, we didn't really have to slow down the game, we can pause it occasionally, no apparitions taken, oh, and there were no rates or spectres. Look at the beam. <laughs> That's the most important when you have the orange gem. And it's not the best yet. Now we unlock Meptile K, Field Token K1, and a story element. A wizard hunter. It was probably after that wizard I saw dead before at the warm spell. I heard rumors long ago about some experiments, fallen wizard spirits infused with a demonic essence to create deadly assassins to hunt down the enemies of the Spirit Forge. I am not sure if these wizard hunters are following either orders or their hatred towards any wizard. This one seemed to be drawn towards destroying my gems and my orb. I'll have to be very cautious if I meet another one. If you don't hover your cursor over the story element and zoom in, it looked a little bit scary, but when you zoom in, it actually looks alright. And I'm glad it looks alright, because this is not a horror game. There will be something, eventually, that's sort of a jump scare, much later, and I'll be sure to mention it in that episode. Now, we have 21 skill points. As mentioned, 3 irons, 6 brass, 9 bronze, 18 in total, 3 from the field. Yeah, we got an achievement, that was your last move. Anyways, skills. 23 on mana stream, 30 on resonance, very important there for the damage. 5 on freeze, amp, bolt, and of course, 15 on the beam. This is so important. We might have gotten even more mana leeched if we were to remove 3 points from the mana stream and added about 3 to 4 points on the beam. But that's the flexibility of this game. This setup is perfectly alright. L4 fully completed. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.